joined today by Tony Rivera, Managing Director of Azure Minerals. Tony, thanks for your time. David, it's a pleasure to be here, thank you. Firstly, Azure, for those who don't know the company, can you share a bit about it? Certainly, Azure is an Australian company listed on the ASX, but we work solely in Mexico. We've been there for the last 15 years, and in that time we've, uh, we've advanced two of our major projects, uh, Alacran, which is a silver and gold project, and Obazura, which is a zinc-lead project, to the uh, feasibility study stage, and even on Obazura, carrying out small-scale mining and processing. 2019 was very busy for the company. What were some of the highlights? Well, the two major highlights were commencing the small-scale mining at Obazura Zinc Lead Project. Now that is a very nice, high-grade, massive sulphide ore body that sticks out of the ground. It's been known about for a long time and uh, we were able to acquire it in 2018 and we drilled it in through there in 2019 and we started mining there. And we mined over 6,000 tonnes of very high-grade zinc and lead. We're talking combined zinc and lead grades of about 25% over the 6,000 tonnes and we've stockpiled that material and uh, we started processing late in 2019 to produce a bulk zinc lead concentrate. The other highlight of the year was with, uh, with the Alacran project. Now, we had previously acquired that from Tech Resources in 2015 and we carried out exploration for uh, two years and we discovered two high grade zinc, silver and lead deposits, sorry, silver and gold deposits on there. Um, and Tech got so excited in 2016, they exercised the clawback right and came back in. They spent the next two and a half years drilling for a copper. Um, they didn't find as much as they wanted and we got the project back in August of 2019 and that is a major project for us. Um, the, the, we've found those two deposits and they're both open and available for uh, making a lot larger. Looking into 2020, you've hit the ground running. What is the, the key operational activity for this year? Um, that's, that's, once again, that's twofold. On the Alacran Silver and Gold project, we're busy drilling at the moment. Now, we've got resources sitting in there of about 32 million ounces of silver and 150,000 ounces of gold. Our drilling is underway at the moment to increase those resources, and, and we're comfortable that we'll be able to have a significant upgrade in those resources as, as a part of this um, current drilling program. Um, and so that resource upgrade will be happening once the drilling program completed, so maybe the resource by the middle of the year. Now with the other project, Obazura, and the massive sulphide zinc and lead deposit that we've got there, and we carried out that small scale mining. The processing is underway and at the moment it's going through in trial batches of a few to five to ten tonnes at a time as while we tweak the plant and get it right. We'll be producing this bulk concentrate. We've already got people lined up uh, expressing interest and making offers to buy that. If that uh, comes to fruition, then it will provide a, a small scale cash flow to the company going forward. You've been there a long time. How do you find doing business in Mexico? Well, I think because we've been there a long time, we actually know how to do business in the country really well now. And we've, obviously we would have made mistakes along the way and we've learned from those mistakes. But because we've been there for so many years, we know the systems that are in place. We know the procedures and the protocols that the various government departments and uh, local communities uh, require to be able to operate in the country. And, and, and it comes down to, that oft quoted phrase, the social license to operate. Well, because we've been there for so long, we understand the right way to do business in Mexico. Uh, we have, all of our employees are locals, are Mexicans. They know how to deal with the local communities, with the local bureaucracies, the government departments. And we've got a very strong, very positive uh, reputation in the country as a, as a mining company with which the, uh, the government has a great deal of confidence. Does it present opportunities from a project Perspective? Absolutely. Yeah. Mexico is one of the world's great mining destinations. It's a tier one mining destination. For example, our Alacran Silver and Gold project is in a mining district which contains six operating copper mines um, on the Mexican side of the border and then just north into the United States there's a lot more copper mines. So there's a very large mining district through there and we went into a copper district and we discovered silver and gold. So. That's just an indication of the good opportunities that are there. And there's a lot of companies, uh, mainly North American mining and exploration companies who are operating there and they're, they're successful in the mining, but they're also successful in their exploration and making discoveries. Well-established operations, two fantastic projects, exciting times ahead for the company. Tony, thanks for your time. David, it's been a pleasure, thank you.